Yeah, David, this happened in the Kingsgate area. That's just north of Kirkland off 124th. And this is the Safeway grocery store. And actually, the shooting happened right behind me at the Safeway gas station. And what we believe there, that red vehicle, we believe that is the suspect vehicle. The driver's door is still open, and it has been pinned by another vehicle, so it cannot move any farther. And you can't see it, but there is a deceased person. The suspect has uh, been shot and is deceased behind that vehicle. Uh, a lot of questions still to be asked here, and from what we gather from uh, Kirkland police who are handling the investigation, uh, they don't know a ton of details at this point, or at least they're not ready to release a lot of details. Um, I asked about uh, a Redmond shooting in Kirkland, and they say uh, police agencies all the time do investigative work in other cities, and so it would not be uncommon for Redmond to be conducting police activity out here. But he could not tell me anything about the suspect except for that it was an adult male who had been shot. Uh, we know that uh, there are evidence markers all around the scene here. We typically those are have to do with uh, shell casings, but we don't know. I asked whether uh, that the suspect had fired a weapon and whether there was an exchange of gunfire. They say it's too early to. Uh, uh, let us know that at this point. But they plan to be out here uh, all evening, probably till late tonight. The medical examiner still has to come and uh, collect the body. So hopefully tonight we can learn a little bit more, but chances are we will not know much more until tomorrow. We're live in Kirkland. Greg Copeland, King 5 News.